Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see some of the best practices of designing RESTful URLs. So, some tips to design REST URLs. The first thing is representing hierarchical relationships by slash. So, if we have a hierarchical relationship, for example, product category, subcategory and product where there is one product category and within one product category there can be multiple subcategories and within each subcategory there can be multiple products. So to represent such a kind of hierarchical relationships it is better to use slash. The second one is using plural nouns when required. So when you are dealing with collections or too many items it is always better to represent in your URLs that particular collection. For example here to say that an organization contains many departments I have put departments rather than just saying department. So that plural noun indicates that there are several other departments within the same organization. The third one is to design to improve readability. So rather than saying product slash user ratings which is a long winded word and not really easily able to understand it is better to separate user ratings with a iPhone so that it is easier for the user to understand. And again do not use file extensions like .html or .esp because here we are dealing with resources not a web page. The next one is for filtering always use query parameters. For example if you want to filter certain different departments within an organization just say question mark and this is the name of the parameter and this is the value of the parameter separated by a equal to sign. The last one is do not use CRUD operations within your URLs. CRUD means create, read, update and delete. So your URLs should not be indicating those CRUD operations. For example, here is a URL that is kind of indicating your CRUD operation because it is saying get department. It's kind of saying read the data from the departments. So instead of using this particular URL, go ahead and use this URL with a get request. And the get request is nothing but the HTTP request that we had seen earlier. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.